Hiko Nichiwa, Mina C. Sakura, and you're watching PokéCast. Today's 10 minute first person video is going to be on a Wii game. That is Monster High Ghoul Spirit. This is a single player game and it does require the nunchuck to play. Don't know what this one's about, but I'm excited to give it a try because I have really enjoyed trying out the games from this series. With m Actually, I don't think I've played a bad one yet. With my favorite one being on the PS3. Alright, as always, 10 minutes to play the game, first time playing the game, a version of, and I can't skip anything. Let's get that timer started. Timer started, and away we go. Okay, custom name. Good. I hate it when it's alphabetized. Ah! Oh, okay. Uh, pausing timer. Going to create my monster. Okay, we're back. It looks like I got that all taken care of. Restarting timer now. Okay, congratulations, you are now enrolled at Monster High. Pick up your ID. To grab your ID, move the cursor to the machine using the control stick on the nunchuck. Okay, great job. See how the ID machine is highlighted? This means that you can interact with it. To interact with the ID machine, position the cursor over it and push the A button. Uh, creeperific. Now your ID has been added to your inventory. To access your inventory, pushing the cursor over the purse icon and push the A button. Look, it's the headless mistress, uh, headless head mistress, uh, Bloodgood. She looks like she has something to say. Characters in the world can be interacted with by highlighting them and selecting and selectable. Just like interacting, interactive things. Okay, where? Ah, I see. Okay, apparently I can't click on it. Okay. Welcome. Oh, there was at least a little bit of voicing. Okay. You must be my new student. Welcome to Monster High. I am Headmistress Bloodgor. I should probably do it more with a Russian or a Transylvanian. And you are here to learn. Is that understood? Yes, Headmistress. Yay! She likes it when you're being honest. Or at least lying, eh? Excellent. There are many uh, dis uh, dis distractions here at Monster High. You would do well to remember that. Our student Gull, Gull uh, Draculara, is waiting outside. That was the conversation in um, interface. There you can talk with characters in the game, accept missions, and more. Keep in mind that characters react to your responses. Watch their expressions to see how they feel about it. In the game of Monster High, re um, relationships are everything combining to determine your popularity. Your overall popularity is displayed by the ghoul meter. Uh... Uh, individual popularity is found in your diary. Okay, your popularity is everything. Will you be Scream Queen at the, of the dance? Oh, so that's what your whole goal is to be, the Scream Queen. Okay. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. That's a cool idea. First floor. Okay. Are you? I guess I have to do the the, the Dracula type talk again. Okay. <laughs> are you? Are you the new uh, girl? Fantastic! I'm Draculaura. It is a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. 
Since Headmistress Bloodgood made me your guide, that's ex exactly what I'll do. Your next stop is your locker, which is a in Coffin Corridor. Let me point it out on your map. Wait a sec. I have a great idea. Take my friend with you. He will totally guide you to your goal. Just follow him if you are lost. Huh, new lightning storm. Okay, cool. You've accepted mission. Information about the mission you are currently on are kept in your diary. To close your diary, simply push the back button. Okay. Oh, okay. I see how he's doing it. That's really weird. See, whatever way he's f the, the the bat is facing is the way it's supposed to go. Okay. Navigating around Master High can be hard work. If you ever get lost, simply use your map. To close your map, simply push the back button. Okay. There's uh, lockers everywhere, or coffins everywhere. Yet, yeah, mine has to be the furthest away from my goal. Okay. Here we are, going to my locker. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's my locker. Mine's the pink one. <laughs> Welcome to your locker, your home away from home, as you haunt the halls of Monster High. Here you can store items, see your achievements, decorate, and more. To close your locker, position the cursor on the back button and press the A button. Okay, report card. You suck, you suck, you suck. Oh, we haven't tried anything, so yeah, okay. Change outfits. Do we even have anything? Okay, so we get to use... <laughs> uh, that. So we actually get just the two outfits that we chose. Okay, cool. Sorry. They keep on saying miscellaneous things on top, so it's actually pretty cool. Okay. Okay, well, um... Whoa! It's it's meeping. Okay, it looks like you have an incoming text message for your eye coffin. Uh, to close your eye coffin, simply uh, press the back button. Okay. Inbox. A uh, ghoul ghoul friend. I have. I am having a wardrobe malfunction. Hightail to the ghoul's uh, bathroom to meet me. Okay, missions come in your eye coffin can only be activated by pushing the A active button. Yes. Tutorial complete. Okay. Now I'm happy we have the bat companion because, you know, that. Hi. Where for rescue? <laughs> okay, I am not sure uh, if you have heard, but my outfits are always the uh, furiest. Uh, well, disaster has struck. Some other ghoul is wearing the same outfit. Oh, heaven forbid! I am trapped, and I need your help. I learn. I really appreciate your help. Please meet Draculaura in the Belfry. She has a plan in place to figure this stitch out. Hey, have you met Draculaura yet? 
So now we need to go to Belfry. Okay, uh, there we go. Okay, Mr. or Mrs. Bat. Lead the way, for we can save this horrified vixen from embarrassment by wearing the same outfit that somebody else has worn. Oh my gosh. Whatever. <laughs> Uh, it's something very important for her, okay? She needs to be stellar and be the only girl in school wearing it. <laughs> and away we. Oh, the timer just went off before we could save her. Poor girl. Enter unlock code? Really? So there are codes we could enter. Ooh. Wonder what those do. They unlock more costumes and stuff like that. Awesome. Well, I have to say, I'm excited. Graphically looks not bad at all. On the on the way, I think they did a good job with it, which is no surprise since I've uh, the other one was actually pretty good too. Um. The voice acting is pretty low in the game. It's strictly for um, character introductions, if you will. And uh, you also get voice acting during... Uh, or voice clips, I should say, since that's what it is. Voice clips uh, for what you select. And then, of course, uh, you'll have random things being blurted out as uh, Bloodgood announces things over the intercom. Trying to stay, you know, funny with the show and all that. You know, like, attention all vampire students. If you decide to go out uh, for recess outside, make sure you have the appropriate sun lotion. You know, things like that. So it's, uh... Not a bad thing that they're doing that. I just hope there's enough of them to where we don't hear the same one within the, you know, eight different ones. So I hope there's a lot of those. Um, I like the setup so far. And, oh, whew, Barney. It will be fun to see where exactly the game will go since apparently we're supposed to become the Scream Queen and so that will be fun to see what adventures we'll have to go through to be able to keep that you know and it will be fun to you know interact with all the the main characters see what else we have to do and go through it. I'm actually quite excited to uh, do that. Because, I, like I said, I really enjoyed the PS3 one. That was a lot of fun. And I really did enjoy going through the game and platinum in that one. So to have some more in the series is totally worth it because I would like to see what else we could do. And if it's just going to be this type of thing where we're doing, you know, quests and all that, that's going to be a lot of fun. And, uh, I guess there's also going to be some mini games in here, depending on what quests we have to do. So, that alone makes me want to go through the game and see what those will be. Oh, pardon me. All in all, I'm, I'm pleased with what I'm seeing right now. And it will be a fun one to go through and just really enjoy. Because I really haven't I haven't played a bad Monster High game yet. So it's one of them that, on the series that I'm trying to get each of them just because I really want to play them. So yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching. I was really excited to get to try this one out with you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, seeing, you know, what the game starts out with, with what you get to do. And I can't wait to see what we get to unlock and have fun with. 
Well, thank you guys for watching. This is Tisa Kuro saying ciao and sayonara.